the UHF passive RFID revolution began in the warehouse. Long before there was item marking in retail, before races were being timed, before RFID-enabled access control took hold, there were tags being slapped on pallets and cartons in the warehouses of consumer goods manufacturers in preparation for shipment to Walmart warehouses around the world. The early carton-based compliance programs never matured, as at that time the technology was not reliable enough, and the delta of value of barcoding on cartons and cases was not wide enough to continue on that pathway. But times have changed. With today's 100% read rates, passive RFID is generating massive amounts of data and creating real efficiencies in the warehouses of today. Let's take a look at some common applications. Even five years ago, encoding large numbers of tags on a high-speed conveyance line was next to impossible. However, with the improved sensitivity of today's Alien Higgs 4 and Higgs EC tags, hundreds of individual item tags inside a carton can be programmed instantly with a unique EPC as it moves past the reader and antenna. Even on a conveyor moving at 500 to 600 feet per minute, or faster. What's more, the system knows the type and quantity of items which are to be within each container, so that if a stray item is included, or missing, the container can be sent off to the rejection chute. Many apparel manufacturers have established their own serial number methodologies, so the encoding of tags, quickly, has become a critical piece of the retail supply chain, which is now driven by tagging at item level. Aggregation is the means by which several tags are associated to a single tag. A typical warehouse management style solution entails item level tags getting aggregated or identified to case tags and case tags in turn getting aggregated to pallet tags. When a series of tags are aggregated to a single tag, this series of tags are known as child tags, while the single tag is referred to as a parent tag. Upon reading a parent tag at any given RFID checkpoint, all of its associated child tags are deemed to have also been read at that checkpoint. What are the core benefits of aggregation? 1. You don't have to read every tag when large populations of tags pass through a single checkpoint. By reading the parent tag, you are in essence reading all of its child tags. 2. When doing inventory cycle counts of goods, be it with handheld scanners or with a mobile fixed reader configuration, you don't have to read every item level tag to reconcile every item in a case. And you don't have to read every case level tag to reconcile every case in a pallet. Aggregation is an excellent RFID solution design approach that helps enable 100% reconciliation of goods, even if 100% read rates of all your RFID tags is not possible. Thus, your RFID hardware implementation doesn't have to be perfect, particularly in difficult environments. This method lessens the expense of implementation, while providing significant benefit over barcode-based solutions. Turning a negative return on investment into a positive ROI could be in tracking individual cases on a pallet. The best way to read all these cases on the pallet would be to have the interrogation station with RFID readers on the shrink wrap or pallet wrap station. The best way to set up this station would be to install antenna on both a fixed location next to the pallet turntable and another on the movable arm dispensing the shrink wrap. When the pallet is spun on the turntable, the movement on the tags both on the cases and the individual items within assists in the reader's penetration within to ensure accurate and comprehensive results. Once the pallet is stretch wrapped, an aggregated tag for that pallet is generated, allowing a single designation to represent all items contained within that pallet. The last step out of the warehouse or distribution center is through the dock doors. This is one of the most common applications for RFID technology. The reader and antenna are typically incorporated into a portal system, which focuses the RFID interrogation to a narrow region, typically by the outgoing or incoming dock doors. 
Your inventory or ERP system knows what you are expecting to ship to your customer or receive from your supplier. As the pallet passes through the RFID portal, the items identified on that pallet are compared against your shipment record. If the records do not match, an exception is generated, which can alert personnel via a light stack or audible alarm. The shipment contents could then be corrected to ensure continued customer satisfaction, reduce costs due to making up for incorrect shipments, and correct inventories for both customer and supplier.